Hello, everybody. Welcome here to, let's see, Reading Simplified. I'm Dr. Marnie Ginsberg, and this is the grand finale. We're closing down the Reading Simplified Academy after a awesome week last week of level up your reader's achievement in the next five days. So I just wanted to come in and celebrate your success. So let me know how switch it going today or yesterday now that you're in this next week after learning this new activity. I'd also like to show you where our star student um, went to uh, in April after his November challenge. And as you watch him, you'll also see a more comprehensive reading simplified framework. Because when we did the challenge, we just did one activity because I know you're busy. You can't learn an entire model just on the fly with a one little video here and there. So Switch It is really super because you can quickly put it in, in, uh, into place and implement it, but it's not a full reading session. And so I don't want to leave you hanging, think, making you think that there is, um, that, that I think that reading is all about just this one activity. No. And if you happen to be here yesterday, you saw our star student in January, his reading uh, in a, a full session then. So that was just after I started working with him again. Uh, the five day challenge that you guys saw the videos of was in mid November, but I didn't work with him over Thanksgiving and, and Christmas and then picked up a little bit, a couple sessions in January. So on Monday, I showed a video of him doing sort it already. So he had already mastered his short vowels after two or three sessions in January, and he was doing long vowels already. Well, uh, come to find out at the end of the uh, at the at the end of the hi Stella. So I'm getting my comments sheet ready. Uh, near the end of the school year, not the whole end of the school year, but in mid-April, we're we're going to see him tonight. Um, doing even better. So how is Switch It going for you guys, all right? I am super excited to show you where the star student went, super excited to show you more about reading Simplified in the full session, but I also want to celebrate you. So say hello if you are here. Hey, Deb, glad you are popping in. And, um, uh, and glad for Stella too. So uh, if you've done Switch It, either for the challenge or for other contexts, let us know how it's going this week. Are your students adding more short vowels? Are they moving up? Or if you're having some challenges, let us know. We wanna know how Switch It's going for you. Okay, so say hi and say how it's going. So, our star student, when we last met him, was, I will share with you where he was. A second, here I am, I'm still here. So, when we began the Level Up Your Reader's Achievement in the Next Five Days Challenge, this is where he was. He did not know um, any short vowels. He only knew about six or seven letter sounds, all consonants, and including some weird ones like J and X, I think. And he could not segment three sound words, like a CVC word. So he couldn't hear the word sat and hear it as, and break it up into s, a, and of course, he certainly couldn't have changed sat into sit, which is a harder phonemic manipulation task, task. His teacher suggested that he get help. So it was November of kindergarten. Should be uh, an easygoing time of, of his you know, entree into school, but he's already being identified as a struggler. And his mom um, wasn't identified as dyslexic, but she has dyslexic tendencies and thinks she would have been if she had been identified as a, a child. So there were a lot of red flags for this young man. And so in the five day challenge, you guys saw some pretty impressive things. Do you remember that? Let's just see a flyby of him. Let's see. Let's see if I got the right one here. There we go, day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. All the way from CVC to the end of the week, able to manipulate and segment five sound words. So that was just because of one activity. But then 
uh, that wasn't that he, you know, he wasn't an accomplished reader at that point. So what happened next? So I got to work with him, like I said, starting in January. And um, by the beginning of June, after working with him mostly every couple of weeks, twice a month more or less, for about 30 minutes, because he's, he's a squirmer, as you've noticed. And he's a kindergarten. He doesn't need to sit still for a kindergartner. He doesn't need to sit still for an hour. So um, after that bi-weekly sessions in June, this little guy who formerly was kind of a red flag for his teacher and parents, and I was concerned as well when I first assessed him, he ended kindergarten reading nonsense words, which shows his sound symbol processing at the fourth grade third month. So he had super strong sound symbol processing because of these activities, even though he had a developmental weakness for that initially. And he also had word identification like a early second grader and spelling like a, a early second grader. And I want you to see in the video of him as he reads, it's laborious. He's still at, in April. The, this, the, these test results are from June. It was like six weeks or seven weeks prior to the video you're going to see in mid-April. So in mid-April, he is still laboriously working through things, but notice how he approaches every word with a sound symbol approach. And when he doesn't know the right sound, he flexes it, which is what we call it, reading simplified, until he fits in the right sound. If you're just popping in, and uh, I would love to know, how is Switch It going, okay? You guys have tried it either now in the last week or so or in previous times. Um, I would love to know how it's going. Or if you've never heard of Switch It or, and Reading Simplify, then let me know what some challenges are that you are facing with your beginning readers or striving readers, whether you're in the classroom or homeschool, because I want to hear from you. And I'd love to talk shop with you. So um, that was the situation with our young reader. So I'm going to show you some footage of him. Um, in April, and it's going to be from a three-part lesson plan. I describe this a little bit more and show more of it in the Facebook Live from yesterday, um, Monday the, uh, the 19th of March, if you want to check that again. But and briefly, we have a three-part lesson plan that works for so many kids, whether they're beginning, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, or they're striving and they need some reinforcement of how the, the foundation should get laid, they need to go through rereading for fluency, word work, a couple different activities from word work, and then guided reading of a new text. And every day after they read that new text, the teacher models how to read it so they get another exposure to the text, and then they go back and practice it several times so that they can come back the next day and read it successfully and maybe graduate from it um, in a day or two so that they quickly go through lots of text. And this is how they build their, not only their sound-based um, decoding, but they also build their sight words and their word identification on top of that foundation of good word attack coupled with lots of repeti repetition. Hey Marge, I can't believe it's snowy there. Here in Wisconsin where it's supposed to be a uh, snowy state, we don't even have snow on the ground, so stay warm. Okay, so let's watch our star student. This is footage from him in April of his kindergarten year. And we are going to start out with um, rereading for fluency. And he, oh, I forgot to say one more thing. He started out um, after a week with me of short vowels. He went to step two on our streamlined pathway. And this is a one page progression of how to become move from a beginning reader or striving reader to a fluent successful reader. And this is really like a scope and sequence for an entire reading curriculum all in one page. So it doesn't overwhelm. It's easy to plan your groups this way. It's easy to pick up kids from all sorts of levels with this plan, this streamlined pathway. So I was using this pathway for him. I started at him on level one and um, this first uh, time he did advanced phonics, I went to step two or level two, and he did the O sound and its various spellings, the O in go, the O in home, the O in boat, the O in show, the O in toe. Then he did the E sound, step three, and he did, then he did the, the A sound, step four. And so what you're gonna see him do tonight is reread an A sound text, because that's the previous week's lesson. And now he's gonna add the step five during word work and guided reading, the I. So that's how we progress quickly through um, beginning to becoming a fluent 
reader, okay? And ask me questions as we go through this footage so that you can get the most out of this time. And I'm gonna show you about 10 minutes of the star student, little clips from him from rereading for fluency, word work, and guided reading. Jennifer, glad you're here. Okay, this is our star student from April, mid-April. Dave and his raft. Mm -hmm. Dave has a raft. Dave sets sail on his raft. That was easy for you. Dave sails up mm -hmm. and on nice. the lake. It is fun to sail on a raft. Dave waves to Big Ben. Who's Big Ben? Oh. It rains on Dave and it has Try a. hails mm -hmm. on Dave. The Big mm -hmm. waves. The big waves T -t toss the raft. Oh, what does that mean that he's getting tossed around? Mm, he's gonna fall off. Yeah, and the the waves are just bouncing him around. Okay, so you did a great job already. Was that that beginning part was especially easy for you, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So you read this so easily. And what's happening? Um, he's getting, he's getting, he's, he's gonna fall, fall off and there's a big storm. Uh -huh. So he's in danger, right? Since he's so advanced at this, I can't really challenge him really quickly if I give him a lot of real words because it'll slow the whole process down. I just want to make this a really short part of his lesson. So I'm actually going to use nonsense words and have him switch two things at once, which is a pretty high level. Notice I'm going to switch the consonants and I'm going to switch the vowels, making lots of switches throughout. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera back around. We're going to do, actually I wanted to make this, this the word. What's that word? Very good. So did you hear how he put the sounds together as he went? He went spool, spoolist. So that's good blending. Okay, but it's not a real word, is it? So let's get into switch it with nonsense words. We're gonna make um two changes. Okay, you ready? We're gonna change it from splist to splant. Spool on. Okay, can you make your n a little bit more like an n? Like this, a little stem. Okay, tell me each sound separately. Spool on. Very nice. Okay, switch it to sprint. Sprint. If you're just tuning in, this is the second component of a three-part guided reading lesson. Nice. Okay. He is doing switch it, which is the one part of the word work component of this guided reading. Tell me each sound. Er, and, and this by itself real pure by itself eh. Eh. okay last one are you ready mm -hmm. okay scrant scrant is the word Scrant. 
Oh my. This was That's awesome. What we do. We're gonna read. I. Uh huh. And he says the sounds as he does it, which is so important. Mm, my. Oh, can I hear your sound? My. Mm, Good. I. Mm -hmm. Okay. Find. Mm hmm. Can you find where find goes? Mm -hmm. I. No, it's just I. I. All by itself. I. Find. 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 Okay, your duck goes the other way. Can you erase it? Nice. Okay, fine. You got three already. What's next? Oh, why? Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. I wouldn't mm. lie to you. Where does lie belong? Okay, you can say the sounds. Oh, I. And why? notice he says the whole I as he writes the whole thing because all of that right there is I. One sound. Pa spot is. Oh, but you know what? You just jumped into the book. We haven't even heard what the title is. Sky. Yeah. Ride. Sky ride. Where is he going to go? To the sky. Some could be. <laughs> spot is. Black and white. He rides, rides. Mm -hmm, you got it. Big, he rides. big bikes, mm -hmm. bikes. He rides bikes. With me, with my, with my, my, Mike. Nice. He rides bikes with Mike. And, but, Spike. Okay. He rides bikes with Mike and Spike. So who do you think is who? He's small. Yeah, he's far away. Mike? Uh, I think you're right. And look what this says. Spike. Okay, so they're having fun. They're not in space yet, though. Uh oh, what's happening now? Mm. Mike. Mike. Mm -hmm. Has a kite. Mm -hmm. We're just turning in. You're in. We're in the third component of a three part um, lesson for guided reading, and he's doing his um, first read of an I sound text. Wow. <laughs> Something big is going to happen, isn't it? Let's start, first start here, though. Oh. 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 Good. Ch. 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 Ace. Yeah. Mike. prepare him by modeling it. So let's do that, okay? I'm going to just read two pages, and then we'll see if it's super easy for you. Mm. Okay? And then you'll be done. All right? Zoom in. Can you see? We, we wiped you out. <laughs> you got to tune in. Are you ready? Okay. I'm going to read. Spot is black and white. Next page. He rides bikes with Mike and Spike. That's it. That's all we have to do. You try it. Two pages. Spot 
is, is black, black and, and white. white. He, he rides bikes with Mike and Spike. All right, everybody give my friend, my kindergarten friend, some love. He just did a great job. He worked hard today, uh, Saturday, and... He's going to go to the park now because it's a beautiful day here in Wisconsin. Who's going to give him some love for his hard work? Thank you for being our partner and helping us learn how to do just three, less, three parts of a lesson that make a big difference. What did you think? It was pretty impressive how he's advanced, right? But he is still working hard to be a reader. It's not something that's supernatural for him because he has um, uh, a very challenging phonological processing ability, but we've made a lot of headway. And what I really like is how he works hard, teacher gives him support, and then before a few minutes have gone, he is starting to pick it up. So he's not just recognizing those words for that text, but those words will parlay into other texts. So they will become easier, and he that's how he is expanding his sight word vocabulary. So we are teaching sight words, but through the decoding route if that makes sense. Yes, it's not, this is um, unique, and because it's one-on-one, -on -one, I'd love for you to see if you can get a small group, particularly with your lowest group. If you can finagle that in any way, if, uh, the weakest readers should, I mean, ideally, would be in a group of three or four, and every now and then I recommend pulling one out for like two days, three days, one day, and getting them a little bit of boost so that they can fall back into the, um, or rise up, I should say, into the small group and and um, and do well. But um, you can still do this pattern with less intensity because you can have kids take turns and say, I, you know, the teacher's watching. I, I want you to see that you're all following along. And I, when I have my little beginners, I even move my hands uh, to the kids that I can reach. And I move the kids who are able to be near me so that everybody's getting, to, I'm getting really careful um, with making sure that their eyes are on print. So when Johnny is reading and I'm helping him, I'm also making sure that my other three or four are following along. And so um, that's their rereading practice. And then when it's their turn, they get the decoding support like you saw in this video. So it wouldn't happen as fast as, um, in some ways it wouldn't happen as fast, but I only see him once a week. So if you see him every day, maybe he gets just about as much support as he would from seeing someone. And actually, he was every two weeks for half an hour. So um, anyway, um, if you have any questions or comments about that, that is an overview of what a typical reading, re, um, got reading simplified session looks like. And it's very interesting that... Uh, and it even stuns me, even though I've been doing this for a long time, that you can do the same framework with a fifth grader or a 15-year-old. You change the level of the text, you change the level of the words, but the same framework, if they're not fluent yet, is appropriate for them. Okay, so Anne says, yes, focus. <laughs> Octopus, octopus teachers would be a nice little, you know, evolutionary accomplishment, wouldn't it? <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I also am coming in here for you tonight to, for those of you who have, many of you who are here tonight have already joined the Reading Simplified Academy, but I want those of you who haven't um, to be sure to pop in tonight because the, um, the, the Reading Simplified Academy is closing tonight, so this is a link to, to jump right in. And um, if you haven't caught what the Reading Simplified Academy is, it's going to help you develop a lesson plan just like you saw with um, a lot of training and support and materials. So I will just present that quickly to you because I know that we're not all on the same page. So the Reading Simplified Academy is a membership where I coach you through um, videos just like you've seen here so you can learn these techniques and um, save time and get more of your kids, um, you know, further along. Let's see. There we go. So first and foremost, it is 
a course, a video course, about eight hours of instruction. I guide you through just a handful of strategies. strategies. And that's another thing that's amazing. The strategies you saw here are the bulk of what we teach. Switch it, read it, sort it, and we also add in write it. But those are the bulk of the word work. And I coach you on how to do guided reading and I coach you on how to do rereading for fluency. I coach you on how to differentiate your small groups and how to get kids to be at their most pressing need when they're in um, literacy centers or working independently. And so that's what the video course training is. And then it's also ongoing professional development support. So I'm gonna be in that teacher's lounge every day, at least once a day, um, coaching you and encouraging you and other teachers will be there as well. So you're not having to go it alone. Um, that is a very rare thing when we get professional development, is it not? We go, we may be super excited, we may get lots of ideas, but when we hit a roadblock, we're kind of on our own, um, but that's not the case with Reading Simplified. Inside the Academy, you'll get my support. And you also get materials, um, hundreds of differentiated materials, whether your student is kindergarten, a reading level or first grade reading level, second or third grade reading level, or fourth or fifth grade reading level, we have the materials that you need to do the bulk of your reading um, instruction for getting them to become fluent readers. This is not all the literature that you would need for comprehension of vocabulary, read alouds and that element, but if you want to make readers who can recognize words and read fluently, this is um, going to be a tremendous service. You won't have to scrounge around. For looking for other materials. We also continue to update you and provide monthly workshops. So like what kind of like what the Level Up Your Reader's Achievement event was, except all in one night for one hour, and you can ask questions. So you can also soon get certificates for that. So that can count for uh, ongoing professional development. So there I am giving you support, and you can do the Reading Simplified Academy anywhere you want. And this is one of my favorite parts, is that you don't have to think about a thousand different scope and sequences. You just kind of go to this one streamlined pathway for all of your planning and thinking diagnostically, and you get kids in different groups and you move them up this stair step and it's easy peasy. I use it all the time as a private reading tutor. We have teachers who are using it in their classrooms to group their small groups, reading resource teachers, special education teachers, it just streamlines your life. <laughs> and um, I'm really excited to share that with you. You also don't have to throw out the, all of your curriculum. This is just something that can generally be flexible with your environment. And again, it's for beginning readers. It is for struggling readers. Anyone who's not super fluent yet with the English language um, in terms of their word attack and word identification. So I am very excited for all of you who are here that are already in. I'm going to be getting on the teacher's lounge tonight and connecting with you some more. And I really want to encourage you who haven't joined to hop in, take this um, offer opportunity now while we're open. And we have a cohort of very excited people coming in because they saw so much powerful um, outcomes for their own students. So last week was not, so it was exciting to see this star student, but I think what was even more exciting is that all of you saw results for your students. Many of you did it for maybe two or three days. Very few of you did five, no one did really five as far as I know, and few even did four days, but even just with two or three days, you saw dramatic changes. Um, kids went from zero th short vowels to three short vowels. Kids went from CVC to CVCC to CCVC. Um, kids had confidence. Kids said, oh, I know reading isn't so hard anymore. Kids were better at their writing, all from just one component of Reading Simplified. So that's why I'm really excited to encourage you to jump in and get the whole thing, because when you put it all together, that's when you get the synergy and the the results that will really transform your students and at you know as a, a great side benefit is you feel happy because your students are doing well and you also don't have to stress as much about how to plan and figure out what to do so that's why i really want you to check out readingsimplified.com forward slash academy offer underscore one so you can um, not miss this enrollment and why we are opening up all right, this is my t typical um, Tuesday night Facebook Live where I share some tips 
um, about how to make reading easier. Normally it is at um, 8 p.m. Eastern, but I had to change the time this week. So if you're kind of new to Reading Simplified, make sure you put on your calendar that we're going to be normally going live here, Facebook, Reading Simplified at 8 p.m. Eastern, most Tuesdays. And um, we'll continue learning together. And I, I continue to really want to hear from you, especially if you're in our Facebook group. Let um, me know. Let the other community members know how it's going because we have folks from Botswana. We have folks from New Zealand. We have folks from Maine and um, Alabama. And so it's just, and Canada, Australia. We've got a large contingent of Australian teachers. Thank you guys. So you can encourage each other. So you have seen their success. And when you report on your success, you are not bragging about yourself. You are spreading the word about how reading can be a lot easier than we've made it. So Jennifer says she was extremely impressed with the growth I saw in my kids from the challenge. Yes, I got to hear her talk about her progress most of the week that I can recall. So I can uh, testify to that. Yes, exactly, Jennifer, every Tuesday. So do you have a friend that you haven't showed, shared this with? Let them know about this. And um, I look forward to either seeing you on in the Inside the Reading Simplified Academy or back here on Tuesday. So thanks again, you guys. This was a grand experience to join in this five-day challenge with you and ending it up tonight with a push to get as many people into the academy so more children can have their reading transformed and teachers could take a little bit of a break. We deserve it, right? All right. Good night.